Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports. But a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manan anyway. So we made a deal. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts.
I, if you got a problem, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomat. How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. We have to. We have to leave. The cell cast, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. So we must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell cath came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us. The sharks. The Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath. Like us. No! I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes.
Didn't work. Manan is a wattle, it is you. Then I suppose. Ha! 
This was a Jedi. This was a Jedi. Let's make this quick. <laughs> I will be your doom! So be it! There, take that! Somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy! <laughs> Come and eat me too! <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy! Nothing here! I'm safe behind my walls! Investigate? You're just like the others! Fodder for the Selkath! Walk and fish snacks! Trump, trump, trump! If you can run, you might be fast food! I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 that's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they did. The Selk have eaten them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the Kulto is, few fishies there. But many, many, many fishies in between the water. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite, but chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Quick. 
Cass, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Cellcaf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Cellcaf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell cats. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's gotta be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner! I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place! I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe.
can't come in here. You'll let the Phyraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete the pressurization. 54 seconds to complete the pressurization. <laughs> 48 seconds to complete pressurization. No. No. The Faraxa will get us. No. The Selkath are coming. No. No! No! Ah! I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I... I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cat researchers started screaming and and, and and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while, and those strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead, dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. 
I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kulto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kulto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things too. Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and Sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kulto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be... ...inside the machine. But... But we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Kulto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Kulto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice.
No problem. Didn't work. <laughs>
Sorry for when the step the next set we I must I'm co the star map? But but we can't We don't know. The, this it, it was like that it was like they what? it could We had I think it might like an all and we, That would be suicide out there. The fr we were oh, I no. The, the we, but we don't. We know. You all get. Well, I. You. Th if, but it's bad. You know it's the right thing to do. Just put the. No, you shouldn't. Just reap. You know what you have. I just hope.
I saw what happened on the camera, and I can't believe what you did. How could you willfully destroy the Colto harvesting machinery? That'll set us back. I'll have you know that when we get back to the surface, I'll have... Now go back to the surface and get the Republic... How can I help? Then I said... Yes. I was remembering Taris. No, it's all right. I think I am over the worst of it. I apologize again for lashing out at you. It was not your fault. It was a horrible place to have to live. 
at least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. There was always the danger of raccoons coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. It did not. But only because of the Jedi who came. It was very bad. We had no money to spare for any amenities. Even the Enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise in comparison. And, of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. I have noticed that, but the Jedi Order seems to have collected a fair number. The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order, the one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there even was one. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris, but then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic. To save the galaxy, if we can. My search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No, then I shall try to make this both quick and painful.
You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Oh, 
Yeah, what are you... This thing with Jagi, I... I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my... Is there something... What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Carrot's vessel. My own mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid, and I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but... If I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Kareth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. Just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Well, the droid's right. 
we disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the junk pile. But if we can rig a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. No, it was a cowardly act. In war, even the innocent must... My wife died in that attack. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. We will never serve Malak or... Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the darks... You're defiant. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed... You mean... Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he... <laughs> in... Don't waste your breath, Saul. I'm sure you won't. However, we both... It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt... However, even the strong... The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to... My pain is meaningless. I tire of these games. Very well, this is... <coughs> Enough. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak... Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing... More empty threats. We Sith preferred now. Tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using... Perhaps you need a reminder. No! Uh, no! Uh... Listen. Can you not hear her? Now I will ask again. Perhaps enough. No! Uh, uh, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I... I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered must. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the... Ah! Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become... The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start... Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite... I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even... We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. I can only hope that... None of this will matter... Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival, and to report that... It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer, did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force, the Admiral... Well, then we better hope T3M... Thank you.
far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind. But did you learn? Are you you're in We won't. Your work. You're the. You mean the how? <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out. To I'm sh It up the My pain. I very well. The ah. it got More no, perhaps No. This ah. now. But no. I am surprised. I, I will ah. Don't try to move too I suppose. We should have none of the so my I know well then we Bastila, Carth. Carth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind. But did you learn nothing? In war, my wife, you used to earn it. We won't. Your work, your diff. The you mean. Ah! Enough. D I'm sure. It did. I very well. Ah! Enough. This first Quadantuin is an empty graveyard now. More. Perhaps you. No. Listen. But I. I. Ah! Don't try to move too quickly. I'd like to believe we should have felt I can. None. I, I know. I well, then we. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been. But I recognize you. Did. No, it's been war. My wife, you used to be. You're in. We won't. Your work. Your diff. The, the Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his. However. <laughs> Enough. I Don't waste your I'm sh up the I very well in this first cut. It now. Perhaps no. now. Perhaps I, I see I will ah! Don't try to move too quickly. They torture the
Thank <laughs> you. 